is the Reaper Leviathan from Subnautica. And today, we're gonna have it fight something else. Is another Reaper Leviathan. Do you wanna see this fight? Gotta stick around at the end of the video because today we're looking at underwater animal revolt battle simulator creations. I know you guys are here to see crazy sea creatures fight, but to start, we're gonna have the crazy. <laughs> it's a cuttlefish. Look, look, it's a cuttlefish, an actual cuttlefish. And that is an, an ammonite. It honestly looks like a face hugger, but the underwater version is kind of creepy. Not gonna lie. Who's gonna win? The, the, the face hugger or the cuttlefish? That's the real question. The face hugger moves in, grabs on to the cuttlefish, spewing blood all over the ground. I do like how they have the spiraling shell on this creature. But the question is, who's winning the fight? The cuttlefish goes down. Uh, please stop swimming at me. You're kind of terrifying, not gonna lie. Next up, guys, we have two much larger creatures. This is a basking shark. You know the sharks have those really big mouths and they open wide and they like suck up all the things in them. They're crazy looking. They're the weirdest looking sharks in the sun. But sorry, it's not the, the, the actual shark. Inside the basking shark kind of freaked me out and then over here the largest creature in the ocean well in our oceans if you don't count dinosaurs and stuff because they're extinct this is the blue whale what's inside the blue whale how did it is that a harpoon did is that a harpoon is it gonna like leech out with the harpoon and grab on to the basking shark that's terrifying also why does the blue whale have got some like underwater fire going on it's kind of crazy who do you think is gonna win comment down below the basking shark or the blue whale my money's on the blue whale something about that harpoon kind of gives me a good, good feeling here we go in three two one go the fight commences they don't realize they're near each other they don't realize that they're close to each other they're not within each other's aggro range maybe the blue shark will just kind of list its way a little bit closer and realize that the no okay maybe we make them start a little bit closer and we'll put the shark really really close start the match and finally they're swimming around this is not what i expected they're supposed to fight to the death okay you know what Let's add some competition, shall we? Let's make it team three. And this time we're gonna add something a little bit more epic. Giga Ladon. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. This is Giga Ladon. It's like your creations, you guys have seen in Animal Marvel Battle Simulator multiple times. Massive dinosaur creations, massive Godzilla creations. Well, now you've created underwater versions. And here we are, Giga Ladon versus that shark and that blue whale and gigalodon there we go this guy is much more interested in in eating if he can actually turn he keeps getting his lower jaw stuck into the dirt and it's not a good time the blue whale is ignoring the harpoons trying to grab onto this he can't turn he physically can't turn tight enough to attack that shark these underwater creations that the workshop has created kind of having a hard time right now let's add another shark to the mix shall we one more godzilla mosasaur godzilla mosasaur seems to be another underwater creation now we're talking they seem almost oh my god whoa what has happened does the underwater godzilla mosasaur have a he has a mouth he has a breath weapon and the breath weapon annihilated both the little little groupy shark thing and the blue whale and now he's going after this giant creation who's taking the most damage in this fight as you can see the uh the underwater creature the other underwater creature are fighting to the death this one's taking a little bit of damage with breath weapon health but now they're kind of like locked in an eternal embrace and i don't know who's going to win this fight these underwater fights they're a little bit awkward not gonna lie now we have a squid fight take a look at these little face huggy squids, this time with lots of blue light. And then you got your ginormous squid with well, look at the little pinchy beak on the inside. I mean, it looks fantastic. I honestly think the little squids are going to do a, whoa, whoa, the HP on the little squids, nowhere near anything, just got so cool. Goosebumps looking at this thing, just the, the gripping, like look at my arms. Ugh, ugh, it's not a good time. Three more creations. A hard clam, a mega rachne, and a nautilus. 
look at these things. More crazy underwater creations in the workshop. The clam can't even move, and this dog, oh, the squid puss thing. You see the little, little latchy thing grabbing on the underside. It's done, and now we've got a little clam. There's a jetpack. It has a jetpack. I mean, this, shouldn't the squid be able to swim normally without the need of a jetpack? Here we have a foursome, a fantastic foursome of workshop creations. This is swordfish. Actually, it's epic. Whoever designed this did a fantastic job. Over here, we have a walrus. Look at his face. Aww. <laughs> Look at his face. I wish he was a happy looking walrus and not an angry looking walrus. Over here, you've got shark Zilla. <laughs> It looks like a murderous shark with a glowy spine and tail. And over here is a whale shark. Kind of looked like the other shark we saw much earlier in the battle. Well, this time is actually a whale shark, usually docile. Maybe it can deal some damage, maybe on the walrus, maybe on Sharkzilla. Sharkzilla moving in on the whale shark, Ooh. trying to get his jaws, destroying the whale shark. And now Sharkzilla has a breath weapon. Of course, Sharkzilla has a breath weapon. You know what Godzilla does. So the shark version of Godzilla does the same thing. This is the water beast. I, I, I don't know what it is. All I know is that's actually, it's kind of cool. It gives me like a, a nightmare horse kind of vibe, but with dragon wings and bone stuff going on, it's honestly a fantastic unit. And it was meant for underwater play. And also on its head is a whole bunch of zappy zap lasers. Not a good time. And there's lasers all along its spine. Luckily, I chose a very powerful opponent. Sharkzilla. Not Godzilla Shark. No, Shark Godzilla. Completely different. It is Godzilla in the shape of a shark. Look at the shark fin on its tail. The shark bottom. The shark face. But it's still Godzilla. Can Sharkzilla defeat that that watery beast with the sheer amount of breath weapons and lasers? No, I knew it. There's so much damage packed into all the lasers all along the neck of that thing as it flaps its wings with its bony legs. It's disgusting. Let's give our Sharkzillas a chance. There's big Sharkzilla, there's little Sharkzilla, and then over here is a different little Sharkzilla. So two different people in the game had the same thought of putting Godzilla fins on a shark. Another more Godzilla fins on a different shark. We have three different versions of Sharkzilla versus this water beast with the lasers. God. Oh, it's just, it's too powerful. It's too, I almost want to test it against some of the strongest unit we've ever played with in this game. I wonder who'd be stronger. Enough is enough, guys. The time has come. The first Reaper Leviathan. This looks just like the game of Subnautica. I've played a ton of Subnautica, and this thing used to scare the daylights out of me in that game. And to start, he's going to fight some great white sharks to see if some great white sharks can take down our Reaper Leviathan. And they go straight for the jaws, the lower jaw of the Reaper Leviathan, pushing him up, pushing him down. Ow, flipping him over onto his back, chewing on the gooey underside of the Reaper Leviathan, who's now swimming upside down. How is he going to be able to fight all the sharks latching onto the outside of the Reaper Leviathan? He needs to use his teeth to latch on to the sharks, but the sharks are following the Reaper Leviathan like those cute little fish follow along the sides of sharks to clean them. That's kind of what we're seeing here. And guys, the Reaper Leviathan hasn't taken much damage. I mean, the sharks can't get through the body armor, but the Reaper Leviathan can't get to the sharks. We have a literal stalemate here. I think we need to go Reaper Leviathan versus Reaper Leviathan. What do you think? And here is the other Reaper Leviathan. Same shape, but this one's white. Is it albino? Is it meant for the winter biome? Who's going to win the fight between the Reaper Leviathan and the white one? Now we're talking. We're getting jaws latched onto each other. The blue Reaper Leviathan is trying to gain some distance. It seems like some blood is coming off of the Reaper Leviathans in the water. But my money, honestly, is on the white one. The white one seems to have the advantage of getting its teeth onto the torso of the blue 
Reaper Leviathan. Let me get a little bit closer. Get up into the sky, up into the air, up into the higher portions of the water. And yeah, you can see it. You can see the white one. The trail of blood, I think, is coming from the blue one. And the white one is dealing damage, either with the teeth or with those mandibles coming around the outside. You can't tell who's winning the fight so far. We could pull up the HP. Let's see who's winning. And the answer is no. The blue one is winning. The, the mandibles of the blue one beneath on top are dealing all the damage to the white one. Guys, the blue Reap Leviathan, the bigger one, the stronger, the more powerful one, is going to win this fight. <gasps> there we go. The white one has erupted. The blue Reap Leviathan is the most powerful one here in the oceans of Animal Revolt Battle Simulator.